In a world, in a man's world, she's too shrewd, too bold, too much. Listen, sister, this dame knows how to love and she knows how to live. She's strictly on the level, like a flight of stairs. Let the richer for poorer in sickness and in health. I'm sick right now. But does our gal deserve to be in such a jam? Sit back and marvel at the misogyny as we toast the leading lady, disaster to the wench. Like a new man. Today's dollop of disaster is The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, starring Barbara Stanwyck. Brought to you by our discerning wenches, Nina Berry, Cynthia Levin, Brenda Pontiff, and Beth Simkowski. Disaster to the wench. Welcome to Disaster to the Wench. I'm Brenda Pontiff, and I'm one of the executive producers of this show. And I love old movies. I love watching old movies with strong, bold, dynamic female leads. And I especially like watching these movies with my strong, bold, dynamic friends. But because of the pandemic, I can't do that anymore. In fact, about two months in, uh, I was watching Gilda. And after it was over, I went outside and I had a 20 minute conversation with a squirrel in my backyard because I wanted to talk about sexism and the studio system. Now, this was a very engaged squirrel. I mean, occasionally the squirrel would get distracted by a bird, but it was a pretty good conversation. But I missed my friends and I thought, why am I not using modern technology to watch a movie with my friends? So we're watching this movie together and we're including you, the audience, and we're so glad you're here. So here's to you. And now I'd like for you to meet my fellow wenches. I'm Nina Berry, movie maven and novelist. Hi, I'm Cynthia Levin. I'm a stand-up comic, actress, writer, director, acting teacher, who really just prefers to make fun of other people's work because I will not do my own. Hi, I'm Beth Simkowski. I'm a TV writer who is just really missing the idea of watching shows with my friends and having a glass of wine in the middle of the day. So, cheers. So when producer Hal Wallace told Barbara Stanwyck that newbie Elizabeth Scott would be joint sharing the card with her, uh, she was not pleased because her contract said she would only share cards with equal stars like Van Heflin. Um, but Wallace and Elizabeth Scott were having a long-term affair, so he gave her equal billing. And this movie really made her a star. Wow. Lessons learned, ladies. <laughs> How, how to be successful in Hollywood. Yeah. I hate that so much, though. It's so yeah. awful. We had the same thing in the last movie. There was the uh, director's uh, wife was, was one of the main characters. And yeah. the Lee, yeah. She was terrible, where at least Elizabeth Scott's good. Yeah, yeah. Elizabeth Scott is, is talented. Yeah. yeah. I always sleep with guys before they get successful. <laughs> so just so our audience knows, if they want to drink along with this, we're going to be drinking in this our characters drink and when they light a cigarette and so because it's still noir that means we're going to be drinking a lot so we're going to be taking an intermission break about an hour in. the young sam here is played by daryl hickman he's a child actor he was ronald coleman's son in the first prisoner of zen film and he was the youngest joad in john ford's grapes of wrath A good delinquent. It looks like a delinquent. <laughs> <laughs> it does. And uh, young Martha here is played by Janice Wilson. Uh, you might recognize her from now Voyager. She was young Tina, the girl that Betty nothing. Davis took a liking to. And plays this very yeah. no nonsense. I like it. Yeah, that's good. Does good at being be a young, it? cool Barbara Stanwyck. I brought you food. What are you getting to? Did you steal it? No, I bought it. Oh. And if I we get caught, don't go making up any stories that we're I did. exactly her character I'm from the start. trouble as it is. Excited that he might have stolen it. Yeah, she prefers it if he does, right? to go back, Sam? Shut up, Annie. What was that cat eating? looking for me? What are they trying to do to the Grant cat? Every cop in Ivers Town. What's happening? <laughs> they won't let them find me. He killed someone and got their liver? <laughs> nasty. Got nobody else to run to, Sam. The circus is leaving town tonight. Their train will go right through here. When it does, you just follow me. You run with all your might, and when you grab on, grab tight. Don't you worry about me, Sam. 
personality early too, right? He's resourceful, he's loyal. There Damn flashlights. All right, kid. Damn it. Unless you got wings, you're caught. All right, Martha, let's go. Let me do it. <laughs> Maureen. This is the great Dame Judith Anderson, um, one of the preeminent stage actresses of the day. She won an Oscar for Best Supporting Mr. Actress. Mr. O'Neill to see you, ma'am. As the Queen of Sherry Manford. Such a great actress. Yeah, she's a really great Mrs. actress. Mrs. Ivers will see you now. But pro professional women don't fare too well in this movie in terms of how they're portrayed. It's, 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 Good they're evening, not tend, tend not to be very likable. Good evening. No. Good I evening, feel like Mrs. the movie Cyrus. is scared of women. I have good news. Power. Martha, what yeah. about her? Martha has been found. I know. Well, it was Walter who was really uh, Mr. responsible. Mr. O'Neill here is played by Broadway actor Roman Boney. He was boy, friends with the uh, Sam Masterson usually go. Um, isn't that so, Walter? You see him in things like yes, Vestures Father. of Our Lives, Of Mice and Men. Shows up in a lot of movies. The boy will be rewarded. Well, he's a good boy. And he's bright. And young good it, boy Walter is played like by Mickey Q. I guess I've his first it acting job when Many he was 18 time. months old. Uh, he played Ashley's son, yes, Bo, madam. in Gone with the Wind. Take the boy to the kitchen, Lynch. Give him some ice cream. You may give him a piece of cake, too. Go along. Miss thank Mrs. Ivers, Walter. Thank you, Mrs. Ivers. A lot of triangles in this movie. That's a triangle right there. Like you see, you've lost your pupil, triangles of Mr. O'Neill. I'm sending her away. I know why you offered to tutor Martha. I know why you made Walter do his daily lessons with her. I know why you want him to live here. A scholarship for Walter. That's why. But I'm not a foundation, Mr. O'Neill. I don't care whether Walter drives a truck or goes to Harvard. Probably be a lot happier driving a truck. Probably. <laughs> They wanted her to mar uh, wear a mole. You are expecting this. <laughs> but she was such a serious oh, actress. Just a minute, she please. Allow it. Uh, he doesn't need it. Doesn't need it. He said, "Hell no!" No props. I <laughs> uh, Lynch, the butler, is played by um, veteran actor and actor no. Thomas Loudon. You know how she feels about that films. cat. I'll bring it up to your room. Careful, I just fed it some gross black stuff. It might throw up. <laughs> Your aunt is waiting for you. Thread. Come closer, Martha. Ooh. How I treat all children. <laughs> closer. Closer, Martha. <laughs> Look at me. All right, all right. Ooh. You don't seem very sorry. I am. I'm sorry I was caught. No matter what you do, I won't cry. This is the fourth time you say that's my to personal away. trainer every time we work out. You were brought back here. No matter how far you got, you were brought back here. You don't own the whole world. Enough of it to make sure that you'll always be brought back here. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Your aunt doesn't deserve such an attitude, Martha. There aren't oh, very many it. women who'd be as patient and as kind. Asked. And there aren't very many little girls who'd be as ungrateful. When will you understand that I'm doing oh. all this for you? That I'm trying to wash the dirt and grime off you, make an Ivers out of you again. My name is Smith, the same as my father's was. Your name is Ivers. I've had it changed legally. I don't care what you've done. Your name is Ivers, the same as your mother's was before she was stupid enough to marry Shut up! Shut up! Oh, how dare you! Shut up! You... You've still got his foul mouth. I won't let you talk that way about my father. Your father was a nobody, a mill hand. The best thing he ever did for you was to die. 
Oh. You'll get you out. Get her. Get her. Let you go, go Martha. <laughs> Now, go up to your room and get into some dry clothes. After you've had We're dinner, I'll have to talk with you. You like my scarf? Then we'll talk about that later. It's uh, late. I'll, I'll go get my son. Wait. Good night. Stay. Scarf. I'm upset. I want someone to talk to. Yes, and to look yes, at my scarf nice. and tell me how much they like it. Lynch told me to sneak bundles to you. I thought she'd be hungry, so I sneaked the milk, too. Suck up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, keeps ringing. I'm sorry, guys. She hates cats. She hates everything I like. A policeman came to my house this morning. He asked me if I had any but, idea but where he could have for gone. Playboy. <laughs> my anyway. father said it was my duty to tell them. <laughs> nice hips. Father. I didn't say a thing. No matter what my father told your aunt, I didn't say a thing. He's wearing glasses, so he's got to be oh, the weakling. I've got to change my clothes. Like, disability I'll leave the equals so I can hear you. Yeah. less than manliness. Yeah. My father says you're foolish. Hold on, Lynn. My father says that someday you'll have everything in the world. I think he's still in the photo shoot. My father says <laughs> that if we only had one little well, part of what you'll have, I could go to Harvard. You're what? I could go to Harvard. The light! What happened to the light? They went out. I think they went out all over the house. There's a candle and matches on the that? table near the wall. Oh, you stand still. I'll do it. I love that transition. Very smart. Don't you think I'd better go Last up to see if for his right? excellent editing? Oh, his, it will be um, all right anyway. Lighting and his moving play. camera. Doesn't do it as much here as he did in rain, but you'll see it in the important moments. He'll I'm be afraid of the thunder and lightning. Draw the curtains. I'll go into change. Interesting that she told him she was afraid of the thunder and lightning, and she denied it when she was talking to Sam earlier. out of you and I'll break your nose. I won't say anything. Martha! Can't Martha will tell you I won't say anything. Why? to impress him. Sam! You see, Walter, I told you they'd never catch him. Sam, button me up. I came to say goodbye. You're familiar. I it over, Martha. It's better Very for you here. here. I won't stay here. I hate her. All you gotta do is play smart with her. I'm going with you. Now you listen to me. Yeah. I don't want to listen. It's late. I gotta go. Let him go, Martha. If he's caught here, he'll be sent to reform school. Mrs. Ivers said so. They gotta catch me first. All right, Sam. If you won't take me, I'll go without you. I'll go off by myself. Okay, and let's go. I want to run up to the attic. I want to get a couple of things. I have an old mannequin up there and a sewing machine I want to bring. <laughs> no, it's a weird place to go get stuff. <laughs> Christmas decorations. She's going downstairs. Wait, directing a cat is not easy. No. I'm gonna go upstairs. It's like I've always wanted to do that, slide down that banister. Why now? Why now, Sam? Nobody tries to see what, if the cat's okay. 
and I just like <laughs> walk right over it. And I love how the cat just stood there for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cat would survive. If Thunder did it. We're <laughs> <laughs> in the money. <laughs> She's dead. We were upstairs. We heard a noise and we came down. We saw a man, a big man. He was leaving. How about your size? Big And She was lying there. And this. This was lying there, too. I picked it up. I'm neat. A lot of lying going on. I don't know what I'm talking about. Isn't that true, Walter? He looks so hopeful, Isn't the dad. It? He's like, is it true? They're <laughs> in the money. <laughs> yes, Father. It is. Put it down. Put it exactly where you found it. He reminds me of Floyd from uh, Andy Griffith's show. Yeah. Barber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both of you totally. better go upstairs. I'll phone the police. Um, open the door in the background. Again, they're walking by the dead cat. Yeah. <laughs> Where is the cat? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what is it you do? <laughs> You'll never get away with it. Never. Your father believes me. I don't know. I'm not sure. You keep your mouth shut. But Sam, what about Sam? He was in the house, he saw it. Sam will never tell. Sam. Yes, he will, he's scared. That's why he ran away after it happened. Sam will never tell. Sam's scared. He ran away, I didn't, I stayed. No, no, he won't. Not Sam, not Get Sam. Points. It's what are you doing in here? Because <laughs> hey, I'm gonna have to ask you two to make love. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to talk to you both. See, it's the birds and the bees. And when a man loves a woman, he plants a seed and a baby is born. <laughs> if you could do it for me right now, that'd be terrific. And now when the police no. come, you will tell them exactly what you told me. Do you understand, Martha? Yes, Mr. O'Neill. And you too, Walter? Yes, Father. I'll say this with my pipe. Now I can put it away. Okay. You poor child. You'll be all alone in the world now, except for Walter and myself. And all that money. But you needn't be afraid. Another triangle. I'll always be yeah. with yep. you, Walter. Well, they're a baseball team now. <laughs> Never leave. Look at that. Old team. Oh. Yeah. Go Ivers. My question is, who is the streams If you don't care. Circuit, circus part. Bring off you. Good luck, Sam. I really like you, Sam. Your competition at the fairgrounds last week. In the handicap, yeah, Chestnut King Heflin. looks like an odds-on favorite. Be, um, back that from guy doesn't serving know what he's war. talking about. Chestnut King's a dog. He was losing races to cow and who's his passenger? That is Blake Edwards, the soon-to-be-a-famous well, fabulous you know? director. What do you yeah. know about that? How do you like yeah. that, sailor? Leave a place when you're a kid, maybe 17, 18 years yeah. ago, and you forget no all about it. No need to look where I'm going. That's not how we drive around Ivers Town. Is it sure it's not nobody looks safe? Everybody's fine. Just the hood went up. <laughs> I'm going back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I just close we don't out. need airbags. End of the line, sailor. Come on, wake up. Where are we? In a small accident. What happened? The road curved, but I didn't. Come on, I've got to put into Iverstown for repairs. And don't worry, you're going to be a rich producer someday, and you'll make more money than me, so get out of here. 
nice yeah. time. I picked me a guy who's going to sleep. Yeah. Like Edwards was so cute. But if you're driving into town, Mr. Why can't you drive along with you? Maybe this time they mean it. Got anybody here to fix this wreck, Mister? Roller in. That's character actor Walter Baldwin. He was in over 150 films. Ten more, you don't make it. Bad. Five more, you don't make it. Bad. Gambling going on in the auto shop. That's the way it works back then. Ten more, you don't make it. This is one of my favorite shots. It starts at the gambling low at their level. It goes over to the car, and then it goes over to the gambling, and it goes over the car without a cut. It's very cool. Yeah. How long will it take, Bob? Everybody just get yeah, in the middle, will you? Come <laughs> back tomorrow. Probably Open save game. money. <laughs> you know, you don't have another set, you know? <laughs> Studio system. Stay low, stay low. Connected. Right back, little Joe. 20 to 10, no four. You got a bet. Come on, Harry, make four. Seven. You should we quickly nine. see how he made a living, right? Yeah, Boom, he won. Like, and more, you don't make it. Character established. What's it cost, Papa? Won't know till it's done. Hey, now look, I want to know now. Take it someplace else. <laughs> Welcome to Iverston. We interrupt this program of dinner music to bring you a special broadcast in the interest of the re-election of District Attorney Walter P. O'Neill. Hey, no, leave that on, will you, Papa? Ladies and gentlemen, it is with deep regret that we are forced to announce that Mr. O'Neill will not be able to address this Citizens Forum tonight. Mr. O'Neill was suddenly taken ill, but we are fortunate to have the best love like civic point figure of Iverson. Like doing something the, the director suggested he do to show that he was a gambler. Um, but Barbara Stanwyck did not like to be upstaged, and she warned him, do not do that when I have an important line. If you do, I'll do this. And she hiked up her skirts and adjusted her garter. Like, I'll upstage you, basically, if you pull out of me. Tough broad. Yeah, so only does it once with her. Little scared kid on Sycamore Street. Now he's running for the district attorney. What's the odds? On what? The election. No odds. No takers. This is a sure bet, mister. Going to be re-elected. Going to be governor. And I'm making book right now that someday he'll run for president. Yep. Going to be whatever his wife wants him to be. Some gal. Who do you marry? You from this town? Used to be. You ought to know her then. Old Lady Ivers' niece. You smoking? Martha Ivers? Oh, yep. drink. Yay. Yeah, drink. So Came into the whole <laughs> works after the old lady died. Well, what do you know? What do you know about that? Martha Ivers. <laughs> first glimpse of Kirk Douglas on film. That's right. It's his first movie, right? Yep. Very I know, first movie. You still look like a scared little kid to me. Had to play down those good looks. <laughs> I yeah, never played a wimp again. Oh, the last, the last hey, time. Wait a minute. So I know you. Sure. Gallagher here is played by Robert Holmes. He appeared in the movies. Yeah, the guy who chased me. I thought if I chased you, I bet I caught you. Character actors, and they all have their little, their little moments. Come to think of it, I believe you did. I just think it's refreshing to put an Irish cop in there. It's so unique. <laughs> yeah. Of course, it's it always my favorite then. For young women, old women, get out of here. Yes, exactly. <laughs> young women, who wouldn't be hanging out that outside that door? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is her second film, but it was a film that really helped make her a star. She's just, she's absolutely beautiful. She's gorgeous. I thought it was Lauren Paul the entire time. It does look like Lauren Paul. Exactly yeah, like her. I mean, yeah, she's often compared to her. So beautiful. Hello. Hello. Mm. You live here? Used to. Who runs and then this I got place? too old. Lady, the name of Mrs. <laughs> she's not home. <laughs> Five minutes ago, I was too old. <laughs> I just came back to get my things. I've been away for a while. I'm waiting for a text. The director of this movie I used to live um, here in this house. said he'd never work with the producer, Hal Wallace, again, because ago. Hal insisted that he put more close-ups of Elizabeth Scott, and he refused. Well, I didn't Called move right after I was born. The producer did add more close-ups of her later, spare. Um, because they were involved, and he Got wanted to make that star. Hang, here it is. We can drink. Wow. They're smoking. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Got the time? 
Yeah, just keep it in your hand. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, from now on. Yeah. Ain't that just yeah, she um, she was at a a, a revival like of that. this movie the taxi doesn't show up in fast. the early 2000s, and she the only still lives looked around here really good. Liz Bescott. She still looked pretty. No. Got that bone star. You know anybody in town yeah. at all by that name? No, I'm from Ridgeville. Is your name Masters? Mm, yeah. You mean you're just getting home after 18 years? Well, 17 or 18. You're just getting around to looking up your people. No, not exactly. I just happened to be driving through on my way west and got more or less curious. So. Van Heflin won a Best Supporting okay, but... Oscar for a uh, role in 1941's Johnny Eater. What are you going to do? Um, he played uh, Shakespeare quoting oh, heavy drinking gangster with a conscience. Well, I don't know. And, Maybe uh, nothing. Maybe he's, tomorrow. He's really good in that movie. If you like to hear about the deaths in the last 18 years. Can you do that? Yeah, I think so. I wish I talked like her. I, I think I'd have somebody by now. <laughs> <laughs> that smoky voice. I know, I love it. She's not very animated, you know. She kind of. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah she plays it cool. Please hurry, I've got an 1130 bus to catch. Men like me a lot when I'm sick or really tired. I thought it was you, Mr. Masterson. Well, I'm glad to see you again. I gave you my last match. Want to lift any place on the way to the bus station? Oh, oh you your legs, to legs too. <laughs> you got my matches. Got a name? Tony. Antonia. Antonia Marichek. Hey. Ain't that a dilly, Mr. Masterson? Sam. Please hurry. The depot's just across the tracks. Uh, still oh, no we'll be back. You're going to hit a pole. <laughs> <laughs> have, have a whole other movie. You. Don't worry about we'll me. You guys are all fine. Pick up your chair. Don't worry. You might be able to chase it. I can get a bus back to the HBO 40s. tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe I Cars are bigger. Back. They just protected you more. Maybe I'll go someplace else. I, think I grew up like, when I when I was a kid. We didn't wear seatbelts. Right. <laughs> I just think they didn't like profiles the then, so everything had to be head on. Like, yeah. <laughs> like you know, just like that, it had to be like. <laughs> Maybe I will. What's it like? Big. Oh. Wait a minute, what are we talking oh, about? Wait, wait, we missed this. <laughs> what? what? Woo! <laughs> Boy, that went fast. <laughs> oh, criminy, I missed my bus again. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> do you want to go we back? We see this block in that road a couple of yeah. times in this Have movie. They reuse that corner. Yeah, the bus station gets a lot of play. Yes, yeah. yeah, a drink. I'll buy you one. Okay. Super forward for back then. Yeah, that's well, a big deal. Your bag in the station yeah. here? I don't know. I. Well, and she I then, she does a hotel. hotel. You don't want me to take you there? Do you happen to be at the Gable Hotel? Yeah. Can I go there? Yeah. It's a public mm -hmm. place. Yeah. Well, tell the clerk that Sam Masterson wants a role. This cab driver is played by Tom Fadden. He yes, was sir. acted in everything from Thanks. Destry Rights again to The Body Snatchers. You see him in a million movies. Yeah, he's a very familiar face. Yeah. Love the oh. ties. See how he's got like a half a tie on? Yeah. And what was going on? They just didn't know where to. Classy. No ties are really that attractive. Blue Let's lights, be music, Long, short. everything. A cafe. When I lived in this town, there were nothing but saloons. My father used to live in them. They just Mine chat too. a lot in this movie. I like it. They We're actually related. spend time getting to know each other. I'll something you have, if you don't mind. Scotch. I've only got about four I, minutes. I uh, take a plain water chaser with that when the scotch isn't so good. Two water chasers. You know so they don't look at the Did woman, you drive far? Take the order uh, from the man. Just like today. They rarely oh, look at the female when she's ordering. No, I've I had them look at tonight. my friend if she was oh, a lesbian. My Stanley lesbian steamer in the garage, having her face lifted. Poor dude, lifted. but I will think. Better bring us a couple more there. before curfew. I'll swap. What does she want? That would be two dollars. Yeah, On and me. of course he pays. Oh, thanks. Um, no, she 
Maybe you'd like yeah. to drink to finding your people. <laughs> well, my mother wouldn't approve of that. How would you know after all this time? After all this time, you probably wouldn't care, one way or the other. You talk awful cold-blooded about them, don't you? That's life. Is it a big family? No, it wasn't. Besides me, they're just the usual two people necessary to increase the population. <laughs> oh. Mother left when I was a baby, and my father probably drank himself to death by now. The other man I know talks cold like that's my dad. He's the most cold-blooded man in Ridgeville. Once he kicked me, Jim made me sick. I can guess why you didn't break your neck to catch that bus back to Ridgeville tonight. Probably would have got on and got off before it started out. Probably got the jitters the minute I got on. Anyway, it's gone now for tonight anyhow. There won't be I like that they're establishing they're night. basically two peas in a pod. You know, both from rough know backgrounds. Sure they actually have something in common. Yeah, That's yeah, and they take time to do that. It's really, it's nice. But I'm so glad you came to have a drink with me tonight. I was so lonesome, I, I like to have died. Very honest. Have you ever been that lonesome? <laughs> How lonesome is that? She's like the as opposite of Barbara Streisand. She's so busted and open. And then well, you see Mark got Barbara Streisand. Barbara, Barbara Stanwyck. Barbara Stanwyck. <laughs> I'm the one, I know. I'm <laughs> sorry, on? I started that. Apologies. The hotel. Oh, no one likes Stanwyck. Bring Barbara Streisand up anytime you want. You have hotel advertising on that when you had it. You're smart. Maybe you think I've been trying too hard to get it. Someone point. who knew about lighting and maybe you have directing you and all wrong. that. Oh yeah. Maybe it's too soon to tell. I love sets though. So I beautiful. I wonder what you're thinking. I would love to I go don't there. Think you'll take I up too much room, room in my Stanley steamer. Maybe you're all right. I want to get that bus station. Think you can hold that thought all the way to the coast? It rains a lot in Iverstown. We better wait here for a minute. Hey, I want to ask you something. Does that guy look like a scared little boy to you? He looks like he's going to cry any minute. Let's get away from him. <laughs> I love that. I wonder if the director grew up in a place that rained all the time, because it rains in this movie even when it's not relevant. Mr. Lee has no effect on the Not to my eyes. Looking amazing. Looking rich. a little bit older than him in real life here. He's 40 here, and he's 31. No words. No words. Yeah. I have a cigarette. Two years before this, she was the highest paid woman in America. She made $400,000. My lady's in. lips. I'll How old was she in this? No, thank you. I'll 40. Have another drink. If she was 40? Mm-hmm. And he was 31. If there's to be a discussion, I'll need another drink. Otherwise, I shall neither hear nor be coherent. Kirk Douglas when got this word because he was friends with Lauren Bacall, and she suggested say. him. Did you forget that you were supposed to speak to tonight? To Hal Wallace. I didn't forget. I... It's nice. Your room, Sometimes I mean, it's just so hard with older movies to figure out how old here. people were. Where were you? They're supposed to be about 40 if it was 18 years Where? after I'm still the first the people's opening sequence. Choice. I and did he, not with make him, a public you can tell me he's 30, you can tell me anyway. he's 45, I have no idea. They're all dressed in suits, inevitably. with nice haircuts. <laughs> Everyone wants to look like an adult What's in older films. Yours? They yeah. look about the same age, even if they're older. Yeah. Whereas now it's really common for people to play to much younger. Like a 25-year-old is cast as an 18-year-old. It seems like he's a 31-year-old playing When did you get drunk? Where did you get drunk? Why did you get drunk? Well, black and white maybe makes a difference, too. Yeah. Black and white. I'm a sentimental man. sophistication was valued, sort of like I started to get dressed. to seem older and worldly and adult. Then I realized well, it was the fourth anniversary of my father's death. Acting is more yeah. valued, and life is shorter. I thought it'd be nice so, if I yeah, went to the cemetery and laid I mean, a wreath of like flowers serious, on his grave. You know, However, I never got there. Fast. Sentiment overwhelmed me. I, 
I stopped off to have a drink to his sainted memory. As I drank, I thought to myself, it, it's such a pity that my father isn't alive, to be able to see for himself all his dreams come true. The dreams he worked so hard for. His son... But I'm not bitter. <laughs> a famous man. Married to a beautiful and wealthy woman. All right. Now tell me why you got drunk. Because I couldn't get up and speak before people. I tried the underwear trick, well, but it didn't work. Me. You know? <laughs> What's done is Fishing. done. The deed's oh, no. done, not the thought. You've got a life to live. I don't know. I'm not sure. A brilliant career. My father always said that. Your father was right. He was never right about anything. From the day he walked in and found your aunt on the floor. I told you I never want that mentioned. The day he sat beside you in the Enemies courtroom. Close. As yeah, I, totally. the public prosecutor, demanded that the state take the life of a man. Like the devil the whispering into his ear. Mrs. Iverson. Like. My father said nothing. I, I looked at him, but he said nothing. Your father was a realistic man. My father, may he rest in peace, was a greedy man. Mm. The man they and executed the was a criminal. If he hadn't hanged that for that, he would have hanged so for something much else. less likable because justice is justice. they did go after a guy who was innocent and they knew he was That's innocent. The way it, is. You know, it would have been kind of I okay if they killed the ant who was hurting the cat. The words tick in my throat. I... Well, the ant was sort of an accident, right? Like, she didn't mean to kill her, she was just hitting her. But yeah, this guy, they drunk. deliberately let hang. Like, yeah. I did get drunk. Yeah, kind of first degree versus Poor manslaughter. Sort of. If you carry a thing in your mind, really, the aunt was sick. hurting the cat. Like, yeah, who I would want do you this well. to her tomorrow? Who would be like today? And who would, who would think she'd fall so quickly and easily? <laughs> <laughs> Will you go with me? No. Well, it's sort of the anti-capitalism sort of theme here of how greed leads to, and you know, I'll corruption stay. and despair. What do you want to do? Give everything up? Is that what you want to do? But you, you have pretty clothes. Do, that, would you mind? Yeah. do you want to? Um, the costume designer here why. is Edith Head. I ask yeah. myself that question she won eight all the time. Oscars um, over the course of her career My for were alive, I could ask him. And she was unusual in that she would actually I know what his answer with would be. the actress that He'd she was trying to keep for. what you have. Um, what? What they liked. And actresses loved her. Make for her that. live up to it. Make her live up to her bargain. That's what he'd say. I am living up to it, Walter. No, okay. God damn it. All right, enough. We're done. We're good. We're done. Are we... I feel nothing. <laughs> That's why he drinks. That's right. She's cold. There's another drink left. Might as well have. Yeah, there's a great article on her in the New Yorker by Anthony Lane, and he said, Stanwick could turn on the chill. Her appearance in Strange Love of Martha Ivers appears to run on liquid nitrogen. Uh, yeah, she's really good at being cold, but she has these moments of vulnerability too. That make it so. Tell me, Martha, what should I do about my love for you? Tell me, Martha, why I don't abandon all this? Why I don't just throw it back in your face? You tell me, Walter. Oh, he thinks oh, he's she's got me cute. again. That's what it is. He thinks she's cute. He yeah. can't help himself. <laughs> That's what love's all about. <laughs> I mean, Iverstown's a small town. Who else is he going to meet? <laughs> he likes strong women, too. I mean, good for him in that. <laughs> well, this is it. Not good, not bad. With bath? That's a pretty place. With I'd say. With bath there. and come out, come out, wherever you are. With bath, eh? There's half as many baths as there is rooms. Half the rooms has baths and half hasn't. That's one way of looking at it. Another is, for each two rooms, one has a bath in the middle and the other hasn't. Or, you might say, there's a half a bath to each of two rooms. How is that again, now? There's it's a great math problem. Baths as there is rooms, and That's Frank Orth playing the hotel clerk. He was in a lot I've of movies like the boy with Friday and the last weekend. Room, Masterson. Oh, well, they belong to Miss Marichek here. They came in my name because she wasn't registered yet. I, uh, I, I missed my bus to Ridgeville. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the boy went off at 12, you'll have to manage yourselves. I can't leave the board. Thanks. Good night. Nothing? Sweet <laughs> dreams. Good night, Cuban. And I think we're realizing that we're forgetting that it's really scandalous for two people to be checking into a hotel together. Even if they're in adjoining rooms, sharing a bathroom back then is kind of outrageous. Uh, yeah, this is a really intimate setup with the bath. They're sharing a bathroom. They and they're sharing soap. They share soap. That's the big I was married for I was married for a long Why time. I didn't want to share a bathroom. <laughs> I wouldn't I want to share the bedroom either. I didn't buy the ticket. Neither. I Perfect. got it. But I didn't Another buy building it. altogether. Yeah. <laughs> Next door. Yes. <laughs> All right. That is the perfect setup, quite frankly. Yeah. I know people who've done that. They're very happy. You all right? <laughs> I'm a little cold, maybe. Better get out Just of Just sneezed and then wiped it in her hair, but... <laughs> <laughs> this is way pre-COVID, you know? People weren't worried about that. I've started your bath for you. Hurry up now, I'm next. Thanks. Here we get some of the hottie shots of her to... Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> I love being naked. Oh, life is so beautiful. Oh, yeah. I don't... I like the hair thing when she takes a shower. Like, there's no scenario where I look like that when I'm taking a shower. Makeup on. Don't take it off. Don't wash your face, darling. <laughs> Love nice robe and PJs, though. Yeah. You know they have. She has like okay. one little bag. <laughs> Slippers. Him too. Your book for a couple of cigarettes. Robe, pajamas. You don't mind what kind of a book it is. That's civilized. That pine Ooh. soap makes you tingle all over. There's something very personal about soap. It's almost as personal as a toothbrush. I won't use your toothbrush. Where's your book now? You don't care what kind of a book it is? The suspense is killing me. It isn't my book. Somebody here before forgotten. Oh, so good. You can tell how much he likes her here. Oh, yeah? I warned you. <laughs> so cute. He used to hold it up just like the man driving the car. There's one in every room in the hotel. <laughs> Same thing. Keep it up, keep it up, keep One it up. In practically every room of every hotel in the world. It tells all about it there in the first page or so. <laughs> well, what do you know? No, 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 don't get up. Stay on the bed. <laughs> Really I just got out of the young woman's hotel. <laughs> <laughs> There's like an echo of Martha so getting out of tomorrow. her clothes yeah, and the, when she was a kid. That is a getting all cold and rainy. Sure that, and now the, the Scott's you character does the same passenger. thing. No. That's how the director got all of his women undressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he brings them into the rain. Are you stay in the <laughs> uh, God, I got maybe, out of those wet maybe clothes. Not. <laughs> You might get lonesome again. Oh, she's smoking. Yeah, we can drink. I tonight, I like to die. I know you mentioned that. But I tried to tell you why. Look, I'm going to take a shower. I just got out of jail. I just got out tonight. Like I said, we leave tomorrow. It's okay with it. Yeah. Put this Bible away. No, maybe, maybe you should read this page. Thank yeah, you, you were in jail. You should read it. <laughs> <laughs> really? She didn't even see any Bibles in jail? Really, darling? Really? <laughs> this is the best day of my life. She said, what to who? I want to see him with one of those hair things on now. <laughs> Water. <laughs> that would have been a really funny close-up. <laughs> like how it's a you know, with the, uh, yeah. What's the name of the owl? an ascot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a woman passed on the bed, and in some places, people would take advantage of that. No. No, they would not. Bad. I think this scene is about how the Bible puts you to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, he's, he's so thoughtful. Yeah, respectful. in his room, so. really like that this movie uses practical lights a lot you know people are always walking into a room and turning on lights and that's I like it, it makes it feel lived in kind yeah. of yeah. real yeah. open up sonny i love that he's delivering the newspapers at the point like a reason for him to being with yeah yeah right oh. yeah I love this cop here. It's uh, James Flavin, who was famous for playing cops. But I think he's very good looking. And I think he's a super efficient actor. And they say all the directors loved working with him because he was a nice door. guy and he would, you know, get the job done. Yeah. But I think he's handsome. He is. He's, and he's really good. You're right. He's got presence. Yeah. He's a big guy. Stuff. Again, Milestone gives like those supporting actors these bits, these moments. I wonder what it would be like to be in the studio during those days. Good morning, Mr. Masters. Ooh. Guaranteed income, at well, least. Exactly. It. Show me who you are. I can tell by the smell. My nose isn't that big. I want to see. Mine is. <laughs> Sergeant Masterson. Suspense is killing me. What do you want to know? You've been around. Look at that. Africa, Anzio, and Normandy. Why don't you wear that button in your coat? The same reason you don't wear your badge. I like it incognito. Now, what else do you want to know? There's what a war we wanted here to know, too. this layout told Let's us. Another layer. There ain't nothing you can add to it. She didn't get in an accident, did she? She's in the can for a nice long stretch. What's the charge? Violation of probation. Probation for what? Theft. Terms of her probation when she was released yesterday was that she returned to her home in Ridgeville. An hour ago, we picked her up at the depot and she tried to cash the ticket. Well, maybe she wanted to go by train. Maybe she wanted to walk. There's no law that That's says not she... the reason she gave, wise guy. No? No. The reason she gave was that she'd got a job. Said you were her employer. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing, if you can prove it. But take a tip from me, bud, don't try it. Jake and me don't like to waste our time testifying in court. But we will. So long. Exhibit A, bud, in case you get stubborn. Oh. And now, wait a minute, copper. Robe, I'm not going alone. to the door without you my robe on. <laughs> First, let me, I'll stop you, but let me get my robe. <laughs> yeah. Darn it. <laughs> Such a minor thing that they're worried about this woman, you know, not, not taking the bus ticket the they get her. It's boy. Bizarre. You're just about to do your old pal a great big favor. I love How do you secretary. like the way the election's going this beautiful morning? The election's going good every morning. Uh, look, from honey, uh, um, her, the, the mother from Bewitched. Miss, uh, <laughs> oh, it St. looks John. like her a little St. bit. John. It's That's not right. you. Yeah. What can I do for you? So the Anne Duran. Yeah. Um, she started acting yeah, when she not yet ready before. to face the world. She gave a lot of great supporting performances. She Won't plays James Dean's mother in uh, Rebel Without honey, a Cause. I'm in kind of a hurry. Uh, would you take a note in for me? When he buzzes. I'm in Here. charge. Cheers. Update calls now. In the war, you see a lot of women flirting with the main guy, usually. I think of the big sleeve, like, every woman flirts with that. This is pretty cocky for a secretary. Come <laughs> in. Sorry, that's too much. There's a gentleman to see you. He says it's very important. 
disrespect him. Tell him I don't want to. Wait, Wait a, a minute. minute. Let me flip the switch. Never mind. I'll tell him myself. He's letting his hair down, taking off those glasses. <laughs> You're beautiful. But he automatically sees the problem. Sammy yeah. Madison. Well, little Walter <laughs> O'Neill. We were kids together, Miss St. John. I wouldn't have known you, Sam. Well, I wouldn't have known you either, Walter, only I saw your picture. My picture? Oh, yes, yes, of course. I don't want to be disturbed unless it's very important. Yes, Mr. O'Neill. Oh. Oh. Hubba hubba. <laughs> I love her there. Oh. <laughs> I think that's like, because they, they've they gone in there and done like stuff privately and don't want to be disturbed. Well, I think that's kids, a... Remember? Three of us? So. What are you two going to do in there? I don't know. <laughs> it's funny. I don't, they're smoking. Oh, thanks. What's she like, Walter? Beautiful. I'm married. I know. I know. You've done all right. I guess so. And you, what have you done? <laughs> Knocked around. Seen a lot, I guess. You know, had some fun, maybe. What have you done mostly? I'm going to tell people when they ask me Lately what I've been doing. Lately or mostly? Knocked around. <laughs> gamble? That's going to be my answer you mean only. Gamble? Sure, sure. That's my business. Perhaps this is where I should remark that all life is a gamble. You don't need to bother. I know it. Some win, some don't. You needn't have made that point. I'm sorry, what? Sam. This has been a stuffy conversation. I, uh... Oh, would you like a drink? Isn't it a little early in the morning? I haven't even stopped for me. breakfast yet. <laughs> the occasion. You talked me into it. Fine, fine. All right, now we got a drink Nice of you to look me up, Sam. <laughs> well, I wouldn't Spice have bothered you, Walter, only um, I met a girl, and you can help. You don't look like you need help with any girl. Now, this trip out, I do. This kid's in jail. What's the charge? Violation of probation. Name is Tony Marichek. That's not easy to square, Sam. Oh, you can do it, and you will. I also feel like, For so her name sake. in the script is Tony Marichek. That sake. actress looks nothing right. like a Tony Marichek. No? <laughs> you know, it seems like that should be a nice Italian girl. It should be Rita Moreno. It should be... Mm -hmm. Eva Gardner, maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mrs. O'Neill is here to see you. Please have her wait. Good. East, she usually uh, drops in on her way downtown. Eastern European. Oh, I'd like to see her. Eastern European? Yep. Yeah. Have Mrs. O'Neill come in. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. I didn't know you were busy. I'll wait. Hello. Hello. The name is Masterson. Sam Masterson. I'm sorry. I... Oh. Sammy Masterson. Oh! Oh! <laughs> First Hello. smile we've seen. Well, I'll do that again. Don't mind Hello. my raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> you should have called me. You just came in. Well, you've grown to be a big boy, Sam. Well, I always was big for my age, you remember? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, I remember. Well, Anything else you remember? <laughs> you know, I also find well, it interesting there are, that there are lots of things. Mrs. O'Neill. Never faded. That, that you know, they're in Iverstown, and so Matt was saying she's changing her name. She took this name. Uh, but she's never back to Smith. What the? Well, you're saying my wife. Well, back then, you kind of yeah. had to take your husband's uh, name, right? I mean, yeah. Oh, but I don't get so water. I mean, well, I've always thought of Martha's. Well, you know how it is. You you're always under someone else's moniker, time, though. I think kid. that's interesting. She never gets to be How long are you so. saying, Sam? Yeah. Well, that all depends on our district attorney. Oh? Yeah, I may have to pull out in a couple of hours. Oh, that's too bad. That's the way things are, you know. <laughs> He hates it when oh, he no. <laughs> missed that one. <laughs> get drunk, I don't man. want to be disturbed. Well, that's all right, Walter. You're a busy man, so I'll blow. And uh, thanks. Thanks for everything. So long, Martha. Aren't you glad now you missed that circus train? I don't know. Where can I reach you, Sam? Ooh. Oh, the uh, Gable Hotel. And you will do that for me, won't you, Walter? I'll try my best. You do that. And here's hoping you win that election. Thanks. I will. What, sure thing? Ask Martha. Sure. Sure thing. What odds you give it? A sure thing is never a gamble. No. What odds will you give that that's a fact? So the whole 
theme though is about gambling. It's all about you know, like what are you what are you betting on in your whatever it is, whether it's relationship, right? You're betting on that he doesn't tell you. You're betting on Easy character, Sam. He Thank doesn't you. tell. It's, it's like it, I think very that's sure like, of himself. He always was. This is the first time I've ever seen yeah, you the off balance. Is a, definitely a theme. I wasn't aware of it. I was. It came as a shock. Yes, it did. To me, too. Sam will never tell. I'll never forget you saying that. What makes you think he will? What makes you think he won't? How long has he been here? He came in last night. Did he tell you much about himself, where he's been, what he's been doing? I thought you'd ask what he wanted. Who does he like? What does he <laughs> He's playing it smart. Does he still smoke? Is he married? <laughs> does he Sam have children? <laughs> All How much he wanted money was for me to get his girl What did he out say about me? His girl? That's what he said he wanted. What do you think he wants? What he can get. He's a gambler, a sharpshooter, an angle boy. They come through my office by the hundreds. Couldn't you see blackmail in his eyes? I haven't your experience with him. You will. With them, though. <laughs> Sammy starts to shake you down. Release the girl. Maybe he'll just pick her up and leave. Leave? Do you think he'll leave a touch worth millions? There's only one way you'll find out. Release the girl. Release the girl. Goodbye, Miss St. John. Power. I love that even the secretary is Miss St. John. Mr. O'Neill. I want a routine check on a Samuel Masterson, non-resident registered Gable Hotel. Miss St. John, close the door. I want a routine check of all garages. One of them has his car. Stay here, please. I want to check up on all local banks. Get that private detective a car. talk to her about that look she gave that fella. <laughs> yeah. And what is it you see in here? What is, why, why not me? What's going on for review? Firehouse and her outfit. Thought I might improve my mind while I waited. Boswell's life of John. <laughs> Surely you didn't expect to wait that long. It's all in white here, in contrast to all in black with our first entrance. I found your message so when like I got back to the hotel. Sam, I asked you the phone. I figured you wouldn't mind if I came in person. I figured you would. Why? You impressed me this morning as a man who would bet on anything. Almost anything, depending on the odds. I bet you'd like to hear the story of my life. What do you bet? My story against yours. <laughs> you got a bet. <laughs> well, let's see, you, uh... You left here September 27th, 1928. We'll start from there. The exact date? How come that's so clear in your mind? Why shouldn't it be? You know, I used to think this was the swellest spot in the world. You really made it just that. It used to be so dark and ugly when she... I hate it. Come on, I'll show you what I've done with the rest of the house. Okay, fine. I haven't been on a rubberneck tour in years. Soon after my aunt died, the executors of the estate wanted to close the house and send me to school. But Mr. O'Neill... Mr. You're kind of formal about your husband, aren't you? Oh, you know, I was speaking about his father. Mr. O'Neill was my tutor. You remember him. Oh, yeah. After my aunt died, he and Walter lived here. Mm, that was cozy. This is Walter's room. Rich. Well, it smells like him. Very rich. <laughs> well, you, uh, you lived here all the time then, huh? Except for the few years I went to college. Mr. O'Neill... What a father, long <laughs> Walter's shots. father thought People it would be good for me to get away together. for a while. Mr. O'Neill, uh, Walter's father, he sort of took care of everything, didn't he? Yes. Yes, he took care of everything. You didn't like that? Let's talk about something else. What do you want to talk about? Pick a subject. This is the dining room. Mm. Isn't it kind of crowded? All right. I pick Walter as my subject. When did you marry him? When or why? I ask when. When I finished school. It's the right. start of a really now, lovely... Now, why did you marry him? Pick another subject. It's your turn. You. <laughs> An open book. I went out of this town with the circus, the one you were supposed to go with. Made friends with the animals and lived happily ever after. Almost. Almost? Yeah. I got ambitious and that tore it, but good. I got so I wasn't satisfied just being friendly with the animals. I got so I wanted to own the animals. So I bought some animals. 
Well, my lion got the mange and gave it to the monkeys. The animals became a responsibility and a liability. I lost all my hard-earned cash and ran like a thief out of there with a great yen to become friendly with people. Now, on that, I had some success, me being a gambler and people being what they are. Well, that brings us up to my 21st year, when I became a man, officially. How did it feel to become a man officially? I felt I'd been there before. How did you feel about becoming a woman officially? I felt I'd been there too. Ooh, that's, that's very, uh, yeah. 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 There was some stuff going on when they this were kids. Is the room that you... I think it was that same day before, they, before all that happened. Yes, yeah. I Do think so too. I? Yeah. It's the only room I didn't change. It seems that only yesterday I came through that window. We were going to run away together that, that doll. night. <laughs> you do remember. Yeah. And it was Walter who let me in. I come here what? often, Sam. Little girls grow up. They never get through playing with dolls. There was a storm that night, thunder and lightning. I was afraid of the thunder. Freight car that night you told me you weren't. I didn't want you to know. I wanted to be like you, never afraid of anything. You remember that too, don't you, Sam? Uh, things come back to you. Don't say it like that, Sam. Not to make me feel good, but because it's true. He, you and All the right, dog. it's true. Could have been three of us. We were just a couple of kids. We're not kids now. No, Martha, we're not okay. kids. No time for dreams. Only one dream, Sam. And it came true. You're here. So is Walter. About Walter and myself. Don't tell me. I want you to understand. I understand, Martha. I understood when I saw both of you together in the office. I watched the way he looked at you. I never saw a guy so nuts about anybody in my life. Sam, if you stay in Iverstown... Well, I'm not staying in Iverstown. God. All right, Sam. Damn you, you so cold. What is it? What do you want? <laughs> what do I want? Yes, why did you come back here? Well, the road curved, but I didn't. Answer me! <laughs> oh, hey, Joe, no, stop it! <laughs> you sound like I have to. As a matter of fact, you sounded just like your aunt used to. <gasps> Don't say that to me. Don't Look, ever... Look, baby, I won't be around long enough to repeat it. Yeah. <laughs> so a certain young lady's out of your husband's <laughs> clink, and my car's out of Dempsey's alleged garage. <laughs> I'm headed west. I think you really mean that. Any objections? No. No objections. I should have known if I remembered. You should have known what? You. That you'd be like this. I'm sorry. Sorry that you ever left here. I'm going to put my claws on you. I can't help you. Sam. For old times' sake. Yeah. Sure, for old times' sake. Oh, my. Hey, you're not supposed to open your eyes. Was that like, right, what, true love or, or reckoning of this is who you are now and this is not reality? Dempsey's yeah, garage. It's a weird moment. It's a weird moment. Yeah. It's oh, yes, certainly a foreshadowing it, that it can't be. Yeah. And and it also was, yes, it's like the least enjoyable kiss. Yeah. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it was a rest Especially job anyway. been waiting for so long for your, for your first Don't love to come back. Glad yeah. to be of service, Ms. O'Neill. I wanted to go a little better than that. <laughs> I've tried it you before. Add this to your report. Same person. <laughs> Miss O'Neill don't like this guy to go. The film war, the past, is Not always, yet. like, looming. Right, it's always a huge issue. And, mm -hmm. and this film is a lot of, like, looking back on the past and is that the right or the wrong thing to do. Okay. It, Thanks. There's not this much director report is uh, played by Tom Dillon. Our town reports are still coming in. We'll have a complete movies. file on him in a couple of hours. What's he look like so far? The big shot gambler. Broke many times, but always turns up with a new bankroll. Police in every state have tried to find the source of his money, but no dice. Many arrests, no convictions. Beat a murderer rap in Frisco. Self-defense. Has a war record few can equal. The car in Dempsey's garage. The ownership on the job, well, then so says he owns it. What's wrong with it? Smashed radiator. How long will it take to fix it? Well?
Who did Dempsey get this call from? Didn't you check that? Yes, I checked it. And who was it? Mrs. O'Neill. That's all. Yes, Mr. O'Neill? Get me to the county jail. I want the superintendent of the women's division. The young women's division. <laughs> yes? I have the county jail for you, Mr. O'Neill. Oh, Deputy ah, Elizabeth Baker is on. <laughs> Hello. That girl, the one I called you about before. Not a lot going yes. on there. <laughs> Bring her out here at 8. Hello, I county jail. Yep, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Everything is done very quickly in those days. Yep, no, ha, ha, ha. feelings always get in the way, everybody. They waste time. Look at that time, bud. Yeah, it's five after eight. Thanks. I'm expecting my friend out in a few minutes. That was brilliant. Say, I ain't seen your face around here before. So funny. No, this comedic actor is Burt Roach. He was in a lot of silent movies. He was played with the Keystone Cops. She's a stranger too. She's due out a couple of hours ago. All the big guys had to be there. Yeah. The law is very specific on violation of probation. It's specific about everything. You're serving a five-year sentence. So I was told once before. You lied when you were picked up. You told the police you were employed by Sam Masterson. You think they would have believed me if I had told the Did truth? Did you cook up that story between you? He had nothing to do with it. You're very I'm fond of him, him, aren't you? You wouldn't want anything to happen to him. It's a theme the in you? all these movies that women really don't have control you over their own destiny. You wouldn't want to serve out that five-year sentence, would you? Yeah. There's powerful men always what taking control of their that? lives. Remember, five years. Very true. And this it does time remind you have to you serve Satan. every day of it. Yeah. You don't Unless have you're to. corrupted by money like Martha, right? No. All right, get but down to it. Wants to. Sexual what do I have to do? Not really. Tony! I think he overdid the coin thing. Tony. Anyone? <laughs> Tony! <laughs> we get it. We get Tony, it. Tony, Tony, Tony told me you'd be a notch. They're like <laughs> the <laughs> Greeks' yeah, worry sure beads. The district you know attorney is no friend of mine. <laughs> Ask him to do me a favor, and here you are. You're late, but free. There was a mix-up. They lost some papers. Oh, I got worried about you. What's the matter, kid? Tony! Look at me. I'd like a drink. Oh, you're essential by a dozen. Hey, taxi! I'm gonna toss you a real coming out party. It hey, taxi! Sense. I love it. I don't even know what it means, but I like it. What is sense? Back in the day when people really enjoyed their breadsticks. <laughs> Thanks. Precursor to Olive Garden, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Sure Unlimited salad. the 40s in, in America. Wonderful. I think you'll like it. Oh, he even knows how to twirl his pasta on the spoon. He's <laughs> a man. It was already cut up for him. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, this ought to help. Oh. I'd have died if I had to stay on in jail. Forget it now. You're it's out. The theme with her, this dying. I've never been in, you know what I mean. I yeah. Love her, I love her outfit. Oh, my God. A couple of times last night, I tried to tell you. Find the time. Wouldn't listen. I don't want to now. Oh, now you've got to. Please. All right. If it make you feel any better. I want to be sure you understand. One to five they gave me. One to five years, that is. It's a long go. It's forever. I did three months before I came to trial. It can happen to the best of people. I'm not the best of people. I'm just Tony Marichek. Where'd you get the fur coat, Tony, the judge asked me. I met a guy, I told him. He said he was in love with me. He gave me the coat. A likely story, he said. I said, but it's true, every word of it. I, I tried to pawn it because I needed the money. Where's the man, he asked. I don't know, I said. He, he took a powder. He, he blew, he flew to the moon. You don't fly, Tony, the judge says. The charge is theft. You do one to five. Well, <clears throat> how, um, how come they gave you probation? First offense. You know what probation is. And I'm pretty. <laughs> yeah, sure. 
knife sticking in your back. It's like a little bird. Still looking out for the cops? Relax now, you're free. I don't feel so good. Can you only take you back to the hotel? Oh, no, no, please. Let me sit here a while. Here I come from the bushes and the breadsticks. <laughs> John Kellogg? Yeah. Yeah, he looks, he, yeah, he looks a little bit like Jack Palance, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, Joe. What's the gag? I was up to your hotel. Nice layout. He was you in guys. Um, 12 o'clock high in a place in the sun. Connecting doors and tall glass. On TV West. What did this guy yeah. tell you to give yeah. you when he picked you up? All right, Joe, I don't have to be any trouble for getting it. She's my what? wife. Brother, you can have her. Spades. Now beat it. You too. I just want to make sure. Joe, there don't have to be no trouble. No, there don't have to be no trouble. There's got to be. Certain wise guys have to be taught a lesson. Certain wise guys have Where to be... Where do you want it? Here or outside? I'd punch it outside will do me fine. Ooh. There's an alley through the kitchen door. Punching. Sam. Shut up. Ooh. That hurts. Stay here. The door swings open and it stays open until we all make our exit. Right. Look at that. We have to put our hats on and we're gonna get some music up. So we're gonna take a break and uh, go to the powder room while she's crying, and then when we come back, we'll uh, we'll join uh, join in the fun and see what happens. I'm, yeah, gonna go I'm taking a powder. <laughs> go blow. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed your intermission. We are back from our powder trip. Thank you. Don't get the spaghetti. It really didn't work out for her. <laughs> okay, sister. It's all a lie. Job. Now blow. Now blow. That's what they always say to me. <laughs> he's, he's drinking their wine. It's a nice Chianti. Yeah, it looks like a Chianti. <laughs> we try to give them a little good marks for leaving up somebody in the back seat of a car is actually not so easy. I mean, cars were bigger back then, but. I wonder what lot this was on. Yeah, I know. It's such a lot. It looks like such a studio. It's Paramount. It's the Paramount lot. Paramount. That's what I thought. Now, if it's a noir, you have to beat up the hero at some point. Yeah, it really messed up here. They're like, uh, you know, um, what are they called? Bad guys? Easy guys? What's it called? Good guys. The good guys got them. Because private detectives all had badges back then. That was uh, right. Union spot right near the sign. Yeah, and the bus is coming right now too. It's all it works out well for him. <laughs> He's lucky, remember? Yeah, he's a lucky guy. Lucky, he's full of luck. Luck be a lady tonight. What happened to you? Not a thing. It's made up for Halloween. Now we know it's fall.
when when decent people took the bus. You know? <laughs> Catch the next one. Oh, beat her up if you want to. Good night. <laughs> Cut that. Crime's not gonna get you anywhere. Oh, stop. I ought to beat it out of you. I think maybe I got it coming. Why? 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 Last night in that restaurant, I kept trying to tell Come you. on, get down to it. Before they let me out, they took me to the DA's office. O'Neill? His name's Walter O'Neill. Yeah, that's right. That's his name. All right, they took you to his office. He asked me a lot of questions, mostly about you. Not me. About you and me. Huh? He kept asking me if I knew why you came here. What? He asked me that a couple of times. What else? Oh, a lot of questions I forget. Remember? My head's mixed up. Well, the goons, the, the ones who worked me over. They just wanted to scare you. O'Neill doesn't want you in town. They said if I didn't play with them, I'd, I'd go back to Jack. You didn't say that, O'Neill. No, no, the other man, Mr. O'Neill, wasn't there by then. You kid. They said they wouldn't hurt you. Much. No more parole, they said if I went for it. I'd do the whole five, they said if I didn't. <laughs> I went for it. Bless you. Go ahead and hit me, Sam. I've got it coming. <laughs> One thing you got coming, kid, is a break. Wait a pause there. Going back to town. They don't want you here, Sam. I don't know what Wait, it is, but they don't want you no. here. Next me. time it'll be worse. Look, I don't like to get pushed around. I don't like people I like to be pushed around. I don't like anybody to get pushed around. No pushing My around. I have... Kid. What is it for you? Now beat it. Do? Are you uh, very American? You grab like, the next push bus. Push me around. I'll, I gotta I'll push back. You, whatever you say. I'll go back with you. Good. I want to just say that. He doesn't like being alone. This guy. <laughs> it is an interesting romance, you know. Mm -hmm. it's I think it's too. You know, the moment they saw me, and you won't get hurt. Yes, Mr. Masterson. I hardly recognize you, sir. Tell your man to ask Martha to come down here. Tell Mrs. O'Neill that, John. That's Gladden James, another character actor. Get my fancy robe. Another fancy robe. Another fancy My favorite. Is shoulder pads, almost. Ridiculous. You look terrible. Big old. A big old robe uh, on top of his jacket, on top of his blouse, on top of his tie, everything. So comfortable. Oh, ouch! Damn! I would have done. twice on this because he's filling up too yeah. <laughs> Like punches him and then he gets a drink. What on Sam Masterson. Really nice. Etiquette. <laughs> Film noir etiquette. Yeah. <laughs> he's a harmless schmuck. That's what he knows it. There you go, oh. you drunkard. Again. Here, take this. I'm two up on you. Thanks. You're All out right. of shape, Walter. Mm -hmm. out there, I thought you were dead. I was. I wasn't going to shoot. I wasn't going to wait and see. Come on. <laughs> I have to. I love some of the dialogue in this movie. Mm -hmm. I uh, took a gander really at this smart. while you were out. Really. I could have given you a much more detailed picture on Sam Masterson. I didn't know you cared. You know it now. Oh. Now I'll let Martha give it to you. Give him what, Sam? The facts concerning a guy called Sam Masterson and his attitudes towards life and love. Walter's got their own ideas. Sam, you're hurt. You ought to see the other guy. What happened? We don't care this about him. <laughs> fell out of a guy's pocket and hit me in the face. Private dicks. What's the trouble, Walter? Don't you trust your own cops? You're right, Sam. 
I hired the man who worked Dr. for you. The idea was mine. I thought it might scare you into not coming back. It hasn't. We're ready to listen to the current quotation on blackmail. Walter. Blackmail. I said blackmail. Now, what is the price? Remember, you're dealing with two old friends. Well, uh, which one of you do I deal with? With me. Be at my office at the plant at three. Okay. May the deal be profitable to all of us. Mm. Whatever the price is, that's it, Sam. Don't try this again. What happened last night can happen again. And worse. Mm. Don't try it, sweetheart. <laughs> I make this a flat statement. Bam. Give I'll me a flip. You. But I'm going to give you your gun back. But I'm not like scared of you. I'll give you a weapon. <laughs> I think they're undone by their own fear. Yeah. Don't you have pessimism? <laughs> yeah. They think Sam is like they are. You know, essentially, that's what it down to. Yep. And this is interesting because she's caring for him in a motherly way, which is very unusual. But she also knows she's going to be meeting with Sam tomorrow at noon. Do you know what I mean? So this is all just a... Very lucky man. And she needs him right now. Yesterday afternoon, he told me he didn't want anything, that he was going away. Really good abandonment. I didn't like what you had in mind. It's quite a thing in a small city like this to be a district attorney. <laughs> You get to feel like God. You know everything, down to the smallest detail. Even a call to Dempsey's Garage. Not Dan Dempsey's Dan Garage! Today. That's what he said. I want to hear you say. It's up to him. No, it's up to you. I know you, Martha. You are my life's work. I've studied you all these years. A little girl in a cage waiting for someone to let her out. And along comes Sam. Do you know what's on my mind, Martha? About Sam, I mean. I think I do. He doesn't wear glasses. Will stay on your mind. <laughs> Unless, of course, I tell you differently. What did O'Neill say? Do you think he'll make trouble? No, no, I had him figured out, right? He's still just a scared little kid. Coffee, please, Black. No, Martha's the one I can't help out. Martha? Mrs. O'Neill. The three of us grew up together. I told you about it, remember? Thanks. What's she like now? What do you mean? Oh. Is she pretty? <laughs> She's beautiful. Don't make That's eye contact with her. Talking. Talking. She's a beautiful, rich girl. Stay married to a guy she's not in love with. How do you know that? I know. You blonde? Like me? You sound like you're in love with her. You sound like you're jealous. Could be. When are we leaving? This evening, if the car's ready. Well, what do we do until then? I know. Why don't we find out what happened to your people? Yeah. I don't think oh, he ever simple. finds out. No, no, no. Who's his September people? 27th, his mom. The exact date. How come you remember it? Wouldn't you remember a date, the exact date about something that happened that long ago? No, not unless something terrific happened that day. Yeah. Come on, let's finish your coffee. We'll go down to the newspaper morgue. The morgue? Yeah, I think I can find out by my people down there. Afterwards, take you shopping. Sounds like a good day to me, the morgue, and then the, 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 <laughs> the, the mall? That was a strange case. Went on a saw for years. Then one that day, they picked up a guy who right. stuck up a garage or something. <laughs> He's, um, this, this is Owen Howland, another house. great character actor. Um, he trial, was in everything from Little Women to that. It's my favorite case. The another the familiar face. I mean, you've seen him in a he lot of things. Like and he gets yeah, to do a whole bit of a scared little rabbit. I watched I love it all through care, the trial. But I won't. Never had a chance. The jelly Ronald roll. really did a job on him. <laughs> is that Walter O'Neill? Yeah, same guy. It's kind of dramatic, though. Him being engaged to the niece of the murdered woman. Mm, sure did a job. Mouthful. Jury was unanimous. Well, what happened to him? Oh, they hung him. Interesting, eh? Oh, Solving a murder him? after all those years. It's all in the files there. Go ahead and read it. Oh, thanks. I will. Mm. Now, he's finding out everything. 
Yes? Mr. Masterson, by appointment. Send him in, please. Three o'clock, on the nose. On the nose. Come in, Sam. You should have kept me waiting. Big executives always keep people waiting. Didn't you know that? Good executives don't. I bet you're good. I am. What's he looking at? It catches it, doesn't it? The feeling of a factory. When you're out on this place, I couldn't get past the gate. Now I'm a guest. Or am I? I invited you here. Martha, did your aunt leave you everything? I was her only heir. Thing, and she's the one time liking it. The way she looked at <laughs> yeah, nice look at her moving her fingers. You <laughs> won't upstage me. Look at my finger go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you look different than you did this morning. Look at her clean and fresh. It's this little yeah. movement. Well, it's the perfume I use that makes me smell so nice. I bet I smell as nice as you and Walter put together. What do you want? What do you want? I think I've got what I want. I think I've got a gimmick. A gimmick is an angle that works for you, to keep you from working too hard for yourself. No, a lot of comics so, like that. Specifically, <laughs> what is your angle? Specifically. <laughs> and Gypsy Rose Lee. Half, yeah. half of what? You tell me. All right, Sam. Come here. My father used to work here as a I was in it. So did my father. <laughs> when he was sober. Now I own it. Now you're even. Now I'm even. I was 21 when I took it over. It had 3,000 workers then. It's got 30,000 now. Ran as far as that gate. Now it goes down to the edge of the river. And I did it all by myself. Mm. Without yeah, it makes me without like her that she's father. so competent. Yeah, I she's kind of has you know, Yeah, I'm conflicted, and I because I like Half her professional. Quite a score. Yeah, she's smart. She's good at her job. She Half would make you, know. you my partner. That's Just the fact that she did, like she said, good executives don't make people wait. You, you know, I'm like a dirty little kid once before that can happen again. I don't she have to give you be, anything if I don't want. Are, they have to be better than the she people that they needed, right? So she went beyond that, but then she's still flawed because of circumstance. No. No. She's deeply flawed. Hey, Tony! Come in here, quick! <laughs> make a wish. That's a lot of skin. Any yep. wish you make it, you got it. You feel good. Yeah, I'm high. I had a drink. What was in it? A bucket of gold. The dice came up seven. Tony, you bring me luck. I'm gonna wear you like a charm. You really think so, Sam? You really think I bring you luck? I know so. And that's an asset for a guy in my business. Tony Marichek asset. Tony Marichek, good kid. You stick around, Tony Marichek. Now I've got all the luck. I'm funny that way. Say what's on my mind. You walk down the street and a girl asks you for a cigarette. And imagine the time. Life is funny. That's philosophy. It's good, too. You want to know how it is with me, Sam? No, tell me. I've told you. And even if it's over, quick. Look, what you don't know, don't talk about. I bought a new outfit. I want to show you. Well, let's take a look at it. Eight ninety-five. How do you like it? How much was it? With you in it. it... Mm -hmm. Hello, ma'am. Tony. Yes, Sam. I heard you talking. Well, even a crummy hotel like this has a switchboard. I have special privileges in this hotel, Sam. Mm -hmm. I own it. Oh. This is Ms. O'Neill, Tony. Hello. So this is the girl. Yeah. Tony's my name. Antonia Marichek. The sunsuit looks very well on her, Sam. She's got just the figure for it. She's a very pretty girl. Yeah. I give another show at 8 o'clock. In your it's room or here? Tony. Yes, sir. Ms. O'Neill is sorry she said that. I'm sorry I said that. <laughs> okay, forget it. <laughs> Tony. Yes, sir. I'm going out with Ms. O'Neill on business. That's why you came here, isn't it? Yes. I'll be back after a little while. I got no place to go. I'll 
be here. I love her. Oh. I didn't like that. I apologized. No. It was ice on your tongue. If you want me to say anything else to her. You spoke your piece. Let's get out of here. I've never been in a hotel room like this before. I've been in too many. Just the way you read about it in books. Window I love shade. it. She owns it, but she's never been That's in any of the rooms. <laughs> Let's stay here. Let's stay here with her in the other room. We can order our Come on. I don't it's like hot. room service. Tacky. Very tacky. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, strange love. <laughs> strange. She wants to do the average, she wants an average life. She just wants to be normal, regular, and that's really the draw, you know, gritty. What's your like the other girl. Really like? yeah. That's what she asked me about you. Having been in a pandemic for? for almost a year, this looks really good, oh, going out to a summer club and dancing. All of it does. Oh, it looks so How much fun. Yeah. We're I want to go plot house. things in a summer club. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when? No. And in a diner. Yeah. Walk, go outside without a mask. <laughs> Be great. Good. Well, let's go back to our drinks, huh? I always wanted to see you. Continue with I your never have. Have you other things in Bring them back. I don't know how. We've got to do it. I think after the pandemic, more things like that will pop up again. I really think we're going to have a resurgence of that. Oh, I sounds hope. like a very substantial so. beginning. Yeah. Oop, How drink. long have you known her, really? Since the day before yesterday. How long have you known me? Martha, I'm not sure that I've ever known you. Barbara Stanwyck was orphaned when she what was four say? and lived mm. in foster homes. Oh, wow. Hmm? Until she left at 14 to become a Ziegfeld Follies Where? girl. So she had a rough early life. Yes, sir. Her, her, her whole life. That's what her philosophy is. So just work. Thank you, sir. That guy. Wait outside. Sam, what is it? Wait outside. Yeah. Gotta get his comeuppance, right? Oh, another drink. Nope, drink. Rubble, baby. Ow! Okay. I remember Definitely being a man that beat up a guy at a bar and nobody <laughs> said anything. Look, the, the waiter in the back's just going about his business. Yep. The bartender says, beautiful, beautiful. Like, you, good punch. Mm -hmm. Thought I told you to wait outside. I wanted to see. You saw. You wanted, wanted to kill to him, didn't you? Ooh. Yes, I did. Yeah, Back to stealing. I'm killed. <laughs> you know I've killed. Can we talk about it? This is well, let's go on Mulholland Drive and make out. Like your car. <laughs> you know what happened to Lot's wife when she looked back, don't you? Why? She was turned into a pillar of salt. But she hit a what pole. A lot. <laughs> well, he got away. He didn't look back. You know your Bible. Yeah, you would, too, if you spent as much time as I did in hotel rooms. I'll take it up. Come on, let's get out of here. I love to watch the city from this spot. Up here doesn't even look real, does it? It's real. Very real. Owning it gives you a sense of power. <laughs> You'd know what I meant if you had it. <laughs> I was, I was. Burn, baby, burn. I was. <laughs> if anyone asked me my name now, I'd say it was Martha Smith. I smell smoke. Like that theme of she can never be herself. Take a look. Yeah. All right. Must have been some kids up here. Sam, don't. Let it burn. We used to come up here when we were kids and build a fire. No. Wink, wink. Let it burn, Sam. Let it burn, Sam. Got oh, some better. marshmallows in the car. <laughs> in those days, we used to think that this was real. And that... That didn't even exist. Just now, you look like Martha Smith. If only you hadn't run away. Well, I waited for you. I remember I waited a long time in the rain, but you didn't show. Give me a cigarette, Sam. If only you hadn't left town. I had no one to turn to. What did you say, Sam? Lighted by the fire. 
when I, I found buy a block. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Right, oh, he's smoking. One thing led to another. And... Another what? I don't want to talk about it anymore. No, go ahead, Martha. Do you good. Another what? Where was I? One thing led to another. It would have been so different if you hadn't run away. It would have been you instead of Walter. Or if you had stopped me. When I lifted the cane, why didn't you stop me? You knew how much I hated her. Why didn't you stop me? I wasn't there, Martha. And then I stood there afterwards. Wait a minute, what? You... You weren't there? No, Martha. I wasn't there. I left when your aunt came into the hallway. I didn't want to stick around. I was in enough trouble as it was. I never saw what happened. I never knew until tonight about your aunt or that man, the one they hung, the man that you and Walter killed. Oh. Oh. Get back! Quite a years, but but stop that now. Now stop. I mean, there is something about Sam, your me. first love. Me. Absolutely. All right. I mean, there. Nothing can change it. No matter nope. what later on. It's that guy that when you were 17. Uh, yep. <laughs> will always be. Yeah. And if he's watching. I never imagined <laughs> anyone could die. He knows so who he is. <laughs> I'd always supposed that wherever I went, she well, would be with who me. You are. That's when there. you were innocent, too, right? Yes. So you yes. want to escape the like yes. crap you've yeah. right. I expected yourself. To I mean, I think that's what it's about for her. Right in that moment, she was completely who she was. Yeah. It's all fantasy, though. It's an escape from reality. Exactly. Your knight in shining armor at that time. And well, but it's, there's something sweet about the people who really know you growing up. They know where you're from. They know who you are. Sure, sure. Childhood. I've never, I mean, I, you know, I'm on. It never goes away. Absolutely. Dylan, is there somebody you need to reach out to? <laughs> My first love looks incredible. He looks like Mr. Stoppers. He's got a beard. Oh, he, he's beautiful. Anyway, he's <laughs> married. Let's, let's move on. And mine looks like Robert Redford, and I love Chris Stoppers as well. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be Googling later on to see who my first love looks like now. I suspect <laughs> Oh, way to move on. Good for you. <laughs> I'm, still friends. I'm still friends with mine. Yeah. Oh, he's married, though. He's mine, too. Mine, too. Yep. And he used that to make me marry Married Walter. for a third time. <laughs> Sam, you're not going to go away again. I want you here, Sam. I've lived so much inside of myself, so choked with wanting something else that lives and breathes, so desperate for air and room to breathe in it. Oh, Sam, please. Please stay here, Sam. Oh. Oh, Sam. You've oh. got Tony Marichek. <laughs> And now I believe, exactly. her. I believe her in those moments. That, that yeah. she, that's, that's the real feeling. It's her vulnerable part. Uh -oh. Why did that do that? And he's not playing her either, which is the interesting thing. Yeah. I don't think. No. Uh-uh. Well, I think he has real feelings. Sure. It's just not who he was. Poor Tony. Yeah, she's got a serious pack-a-day pack habit, at least. <laughs> Tony, are you still up? Tony? Yes? It's me, it's Sam. Can I come in? Yes, Sam. Later in her career, Elizabeth Scott had a huge scandal because a scandal she tried to extort I'm money from her by saying that... Print, well. um, 
newspaper article about street, how she was a lesbian. It. And they had no proof, but they were going to print it, and they asked for money. She refused to I've give them money and the money instead. Um, but the suit didn't go anywhere, and it all got out, and so it was hugely scandalous. Part of a career, really badly, yeah. Yeah, even though, like, it was just an extortion racket. Yeah. If, if it was today, and they... I would just say I was a lesbian, and I'd probably be more successful. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, think, times have changed. It's not an issue now. It's not an issue. You can't, you can't blackmail anybody with that now. Yeah, but I, I would be more, more my, all my lesbian friends are much more successful than any of my straight ones, just so you know. Well, I, there, I, there's some truth to that. We can talk 100% about 100% true. 100%. You were at the window all when we drove up. Well, that's what I came in to tell you about, Tony, the Martha and me. You didn't have to say Oh, no strings on this deal. Well, that's why I wanted to. You see, it it started a long way back. Oh, I, my. I don't oh know fuck yourself. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I don't know. What do you want me to do? I don't know. All you have to do is tell me the truth. Like you did when those goons worked me over. I tried to tell you. He's never going to let that go. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> That one time I lied and got you beat up. Let it go. I'm sorry. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I feel like he really is Look, torn. Kid. But he does care about Martha. He, I'm sorry he myself, is. not a chance. He's but confused right now. He's in confusion. Yeah. Do you want to leave? That's up to you, Sam. I'm here on the rain check. Now, don't put it that way. You're here because that's the way we wanted it. Right. No. Like a couple, like a couple hours ago. I'm not sure. <laughs> We're only true to the last person we I'm screwed. Just not sure. <laughs> Court memories. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Hello, Gable Hotel. I want to speak to Sam Masterson. Put that phone And down. I gotta figure it's like four Hello, in the Sam, morning now. Walter. And they yeah. must be exhausted. I know I'm not disturbing <laughs> you. He was you. talking on the phone in the complete Martha dark. just came <laughs> in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you want? I want you to come up here. Now. Right now. Are you crazy? The servants... I gave them the night off. You're drunk. <laughs> oh, he gave the servants the night I off. I a lot to they... drink. Mm -mm. But I'm no not drunk. observers. I if you watch Columbo, you know that's a, you big, yes, it was. <laughs> that's a big foreshadowing to murder. Ask him when he yeah. gets here. I just got my answer. Then there are no more questions. No, I know what I need to know. Sam the Superman. Sam the dirty little boy from the other side of the tracks. I'll go and change. I wouldn't want him to see me in the same dress twice. Ooh. Ooh. That's right. Had a little sex, so good night. <laughs> Come in. What are doorways, windows, proscenium's in this? Tony. I have a theory on why. I'll tell you in the walla. You're leaving. Okay. Okay, because he doesn't rain a little bit too. Tony. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sam, it's it's better this way. Look. I love her turtleneck and Sam, black. You could wear that right I now. And look fine. Because I love it. all her like clothes. Pushed around. Yeah. I would wear them all now. I like yeah, they're still classic, that. right? Yeah. A lot of them. Absolutely. You were looking for trouble. I still, I do kind of but dress like that from time to time, but just a little bit. And now? Now what? Sam, I saw her. You're going to get hurt. Leave her, Sam. Leave this town. Even without me, but, but leave. I can't. At least not just yet. You're going to need some money. No, thanks. Let's break clean. Yep. So it shows her arc. You know, she started out basically saying she would pay for the drinks and then they're not paying for them. And now she's around. rejecting his offer of yeah. cash. Yeah. So she's grown in the, in the past yeah. like eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and she was so lonely she could die, but here she's okay. Okay, fine. I'll be alone. Yeah. yeah. Magic of film. <laughs> He's also so, so real, so Any grounded. You know? The occasion. 
Now go upstairs. Be direct and honest one in the whole thing, always. Why did you call me? I've got a riddle, Sam. Maybe you can help me solve it. It's a little riddle called, what's to be done about me, Martha, and you? Three thumb. <laughs> Sounds just like a poem. Same it's shot a that was used to rhyme with murder. murder. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I'm so surprised you're here. I had no idea. I thought hey, I'd drunk. throw this on. He's been sitting here drinking all night. <laughs> oh, this old thing? Draw yeah. a chalk line and I'll walk it. Or I'll take a mental test. Any question like, uh, what is my object in life? I tried to stop him from calling you. The you're a strong actor, even at that moment. Boy. I mean, you know that young in his career, don't. he knew he was, you, you know, he was an actor. And I was glad he called you. I was frightened of him. He didn't have to make his tie as screw to show how drunk he was. <laughs> I had a not dream, tonight. Sam. It was about you. In my dream, you were not a handsome corpse. Maybe it was some other guy. In other dreams, there were others. I told you he's drunk. Did you say others? Many others. He's lying. Poor little Martha. Her life was so empty. Is that what you told you, Sam? I don't want him in here, Sam. Make him get out. Now you're all of them, Sam. <laughs> Every one of them rolled into one. Sam, make Keep him... Keep talking. I'm all of them rolled into one. Yes. Mm. You're a gymnasium instructor in Philadelphia. With a muscle for a brain and a tendency to insipid verse. You're a guy, just a guy named Pete in Erie, who smells of fish. So she sleeps around, too, right? You're mm -hmm. last year's greatest fullback. Makes me like her a little bit exam, more. But you wanted to be an industrial <laughs> engineer. You're a guy who came along to fix a tire so well you became a city paid inspector. And you're, you're looking for love. She was looking for that but satisfaction of, all, of the being one and only someone man you're attracted who shares to. With you, the only yeah. claim and they're all family. rough guys like the first Ask guy. Sam. Yeah. Say to her, right. Mark, is all this looking truth. for Sam. What if it is? Yeah. Looking for Sam. What did you expect? She yeah. never wanted to marry you. If you had any self-respect, she married me because she felt that way. I would never tell. That's a lie. You're old man Foster. How long do you expect her to go on paying off? Forever. Ooh. Whatever happens to you, you've got coming. What can happen, Sam? Shall I tell you? She'll try to get you to kill me. Like she got me to send an innocent man to the gallows. I told you the way it was. It was his father's idea. He made But did she tell you how she stood up in the police station? How she looked at the man without batting an eye? How she said, yes, that's the man. He's the one who came into the house that night. He's the man who killed my aunt. Mm. That even stuck in the throat of my father. Mm. My poor, dear, departed, greedy father. But he went right on. And so did I. He's lying. You believe me, don't you, you Sam? Believe her, Sam? Martha, at least tell the truth now. Tell how much you were afraid of an unsolved murder. Tell what a threat it was to the power and the riches that you'd learned to love so much. And that I'd learned to love, too. Tell why I became district attorney. Tell why you made me hang that man. Tell the truth. I told the truth. They were like leeches, both of them. They wanted everything. All I ever wanted everything was you. you had. Everything you had, you I gave, gave you. Me they let go! Let go, then let go. Oh. You're insane. Oh. You're out of your mind. Me too. You see, Sam, how close we really are to each other. Don't break up our happy home. It'll have to be you or me. And unless you do it now, it'll be you. Great. You mustn't think I'm drunk. I'm not. We already forgot about you. It's just that I'm sick. <laughs> Inside of me. Kirk Douglas wrote that Barbara Stanwyck was kind of cold to him at first, until at one point she turned to him and said, hey, you're good. He said, truly, this thing. Then they got along after that, like they had their little Martha, help me. thing at each other, and then they got along. Please. I love the shadow of the banister in the background. For yep. Sam. I'll take the stairs. You believe me, don't you? <laughs> the stairs. Oh, what is it? It was a cat, a black cat that got in his way. Revenge for the cat. <laughs> the cat comes back dead. <laughs> 
Oh, so creepy. Yeah, this is awful. Teddy She's Henry. awful in this. I would just here. He fell down the stairs and fractured his skull. Like Back off it. Died. Everybody knows what a heavy drinker he was. Oh, Sam, it can be so easy. Got clarity now. Yeah. 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 Action so tells you everything. Yeah. He's not doing what I told him to do. <laughs> don't have control. How did this happen? Where did you my back? <laughs> I'm so pretty. He should do what I say. And rich. <laughs> and rich. Well, really. But get this man a drink. That's what he needs. <laughs> I thought you loved me. I thought uh, I did too. Now you hate me. Now I'm sorry for you. When I dreamed about you coming back. Your whole life has been a dream. I thought you'd be the Sam I knew as a child. Martha, you're sick. I could run to you when I was in trouble. In your mind, I mean, that's where you're sick. And you'd help me. So sick that you don't even know the difference between right and wrong anymore. Sam, you we don't killed. believe in therapy yet. It says so in your record. <laughs> I've never murdered. That's where I draw the line. I feel like another human being. I just put my foot down. People have died by accident by my hands, but I'll tell you, I never murdered. Are you all right? Yeah, I'll do it on purpose. All right. You fell down the well. stairs. I remember. You carried me in here. Yeah. Well, Martha was going to do it, but she's too weak. <laughs> Strong lug. I'm having feelings right now. <laughs> we found Heflin. It's cute. Yeah, they're both, they're I both agree. gorgeous. Go for it, Kerr. Oh, getting the gun out of the gun box. <laughs> he said I didn't know the difference between right and wrong. What's right for Walter and myself? For us to tell the truth? I think so, yes. And hang for it? You wouldn't hang for it. Not if you confessed. You'd do time, sure. Sure, I'll rot in prison for the rest of my life. And for what? What am I guilty of? Murder. What were their lives compared to mine? What was she? A human being. A mean, vicious, hateful old woman who never did anything for anybody. Look what I've done with what she's left me. I've given to charity, built schools, hospitals, given thousands of people work. What was he? Another human being. A thief, being. a drunk, and someone who would have died in the gutter anyway. Neither one of them had any right to live. You didn't think Walter Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's... That's what? Slow. That's it. Sam, Sam's uh, going away. Oh. Did you hear what I said, Walter? Say goodbye, yes, Walter. I heard you. We can't let him go, can we? Martha's waiting for her answer, Walter. We'd always be afraid of him. We couldn't live that way. We'd be fools to let him go knowing so much about us. May have a little trouble squaring this one. You broke into the house, you demanded money, you tried to attack me, and I shot you in self-defense. I have a right to kill in self-defense. That's what the law says, doesn't it, Walter? Okay. Isn't that what the law says, Walter? It'll hold up, Walter. A man with a police record. It's a perfect case if you can get Walter to be your witness. Do you want to bet? Bravery to turn your back. Yep. I feel sorry for you. Again. 
homes in Beverly Hills like that still. You love him. <laughs> really. I hate him. That's why you dropped the gun. I was afraid. For the first time in my life, I was afraid. I felt you'd no longer stand by me. That you'd leave me. No, Martha, I won't leave you. I love you. Sure. <laughs> don't cry, Martha. It's not your fault. Heimlich, don't give me the Heimlich again, please. No, I didn't no, eat, I haven't eaten in days. No, father's no your auntie. It's not anyone's fault. It's, it's just the way things are. It's what it people is your want. Fault. How hard they want it. How hard it is for them to get it. He's near the gate. Well, I'm glad he's going. He'll always be. No, he won't, Walter, he won't. And he'll never tell you needn't be afraid. And you'll see. Things will be different now between you and me. Just like... Just like nothing ever happened. Just like nothing ever happened. Glad you can pose for me like you, those Playboy shots you took way back. Will you kiss me, Martha? That wasn't so bad. Oh. oh. That's cool. That's for the top, are you? Okay. Oh. This is where it gets kind of strangely s and m -ish. It's the yeah. love, right? Now, very strange. I'd rather be dead than be with him. <laughs> I think she get, likes him because he's willing to kill her in a weird, no. like... Put her out of her misery? I think she likes his strength there. Oh. My work here is done. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I better spin my coin and get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh. Yay. It's me and my turtleneck. I missed a bus once and I was lucky. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could be lucky twice. Mm -hmm. well, I think that was supposed to be the last shot of the film, but after the director left, don't the producer, look back, baby. This don't ever look back. I liked it. It should have you know ended what there. To in my Lot's wife, don't you? Oh. What do I Who's know? Wife? I don't know. I kind of like this little honeymoon Sam's vibe wife. they got going on. <laughs> Leave Sam's wife. Always belonging to somebody else. Yeah, yeah. always belonging to another human Yay. being. <laughs> Yay! And well, it was fun to watch this movie with you guys, and we will talk um, more on our post-show walla about some of the themes and strange love of Martha Ivor. So we hope the audience will click on that portion of our content as well. So um, great Valentine's Day, everybody. See you soon. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Valentine's Day. Cheers, Thanks, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Make love, not war. <laughs> <laughs>